What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beach Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, recently, Kelvin Hunter, aka Kevin Hunter, has been exposed as a down low man. That's right, Kelvin Hunter. All of us bloggers are constantly saying Kelvin Hunter, and it's the reason why we are saying Kelvin and not Kevin. Now, Kelvin is his real name and his birth name, and Kevin is his alias. Now, you can hear Charlemagne actually calling him his real name while he's throwing shade at him. Now, Wendy Williams recently came out and said that she was divorcing him because of him knocking up his side chick, Sharina. Now, it wasn't just because he cheated, but because of him breaking the agreed arrangement of not getting someone else pregnant and making her look like a complete fool in the industry and in front of her fans. Now, Wendy Williams knew Sharina was his side chick and she was okay with it. But people, today the story isn't about Sharina, this is about Charlemagne the God and Kelvin Hunter. Now when it was announced that they were getting divorced, Charlemagne was all too happy to hear this information and even his co-host at the Breakfast Club could tell that he was way too excited. Now Charlemagne predicted that more stories would come out about Kelvin and it was only a matter of time. He mentioned something about, yeah I know what you did last summer. Now, a few days ago, Kelvin's secret lover, Avion Falstar, gave Tasha K all the disgusting tea about what happened in their alleged relationship. Now, Charlemagne already exposed the abuse, and even Avion talked about the abuse, but took it a step further and gave all of their in the closet secrets. Now, I mean, you figured out how passionate and angry Charlemagne would get anytime he would even hear Kelvin's name come up. He went on record so many times halfway explaining why he no longer rock with either one of them, oftentimes walking the fine line with Wendy Williams, semi being her friend, then not, then other times just an all out attack on her husband. And when Charlemagne was let go from his radio job with Wendy Williams, he was hurt. But there is definitely more to the story. Check out this clip here. Oh, now, now, I just wanted to be clear that I did not fire Charlemagne, and he oh, is still my friend. Um, in a nutshell, budgets. You know, radio, um, like all other businesses, is suffering right now. I can believe that. You know, it's, it's a bad economic time all across the board everywhere. So everybody's trying to pinch pennies. Lucy, stop it. Denial is a river in Egypt. Your husband <laughs> is gay. He's a He's a guys. Your husband <laughs> is gay. He's a He's a guys. If you want to stay, there's nothing wrong with it. To each his own when it comes to relationships, Luce, um, Lucy. Definitely shocking discoveries in that video clip. For one, Wendy Williams' husband was just discovered to be a down low man. So it makes one wonder if she is still in denial like the river that she spoke about. And also, another thing is the look on Charlemagne's face when she mentioned the G word. He looked bothered, annoyed, and pressed. Let me rewind that clip. Lucy, stop it! Denial is a river in Egypt! Your husband <laughs> is gay! He's a <laughs> He's <laughs> guys! Your husband <laughs> is gay! He's a <laughs> He's <laughs> guys! If you want to stay, there's nothing wrong with it. To each his own when it comes to relationships, Lucy. Um, Lucy. Initially, when the news hit about Charlemagne being let go, they spun the story that it was because of budget cuts. And they claimed to be friends and also Wendy Williams claimed to not have known anything about it. Years later, Charlemagne said it was because of her husband didn't like him. More years later, he's cussing him out on the radio every chance he gets. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that Charlemagne is in a much better financial position than ever. And time heals all wounds, unless these are fresh wounds from someone that's fully hurt you. It wasn't until Avion came forward that the streets are talking about what could Charlemagne have to do with this? And why is he so angry and hurt? For some of you that haven't really heard a lot of his interviews or a lot of the times he actually mentioned Kevin Hunter. I'm going to play those clips now. Check this out. She had to get extra security just in case her husband, Kevin Hunter, who does work with her on set. That bum ass Negro coming in with that fake hairline and that do rag causing trouble. That bullshit. Listen, she's been getting abused on various levels for years, so now she's finally freeing herself. 
And then he goes further and says this. In 2019, we are in the age of transparency. We can see through all the nonsense. We can, like you said, she's suffering. We can see she's in a terrible place physically, emotionally, mentally, and it's all because of that bum ass, abusive, fifty year old hype beast husband of hers. So apparently, a clip actually came out, man, where TMZ caught up with Wendy Williams and her husband, and they were trying to ask about the baby and you know his alleged affair. And apparently, Wendy's husband clapped back, and he told TMZ's paparazzi to mind their business. And this is what Charlemagne the God had to say about that. Mind your business. That's what he said. Yes. Do y'all mind people's business? Y'all have made a living for years minding other people's business. Don't do that. Kelvin, right. Kelvin, Kelvin, fifty years old, and he out here with a scully on that looks like a big ass website header for bape. What did he have on yesterday? A big ass bape scully. Now, when Charlemagne the God actually worked with Wendy Williams on her radio show. You know, she, he was basically pretty much given a chance, man. He had just came out of jail. Apparently, he's uh, indicating that he spent one year in jail for uh, drug possession as well as firearms possession. Now, um, in this next clip, man, I'm about to drop, man. He's actually talking about um, him actually having to be in therapy because of Kevin Hunter. Now, why would you need to be in therapy if you just work with somebody? I mean, you know, they piss you off. You leave, you get fired, or it is what it is. But, I mean... Why would you have to go into therapy? Check this out. Those three and a half and years Charlemagne, I spent with that. Angela, Hunter you remember family her part? And Charlemagne called the me to have to go see a lot of therapy. You okay. Need a hug? You want a hug, bro? That was yes, D and C with one. the T. Now, there was also another time they actually had a show on, man. They were talking about uh, DJ Envy. Somebody, I guess, they made up a story about DJ Envy saying that he likes uh, things. Uh, placed inside of him you know nine and a half inch things placed inside of him so they were kind of making him the butt of the joke and they gave people the opportunity to call in and comment so actually people were coming for Charlemagne because they was like yo we feel like you on the low bro so i'm gonna play a couple of those for you right now look hey i just want to let both of y'all brothers know man hey don't be ashamed of who you are man be, right, be who you want to be bro you know what i mean my goodness hey don't don't worry about the backlash dj envy this is due to me Charlemagne. hey i've been suspect about you bro <laughs> I, I was, hey just keeping it 100 man you say a lot of stuff man i'd be like man dang Charlemagne, you're gonna go like that bro hey, well, nah, 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 nah. Hey, <laughs> the shot. i got a girl i got a girl I mean, come Joey, on, man. Uh, don't care if you got a girl uh, stop it what a girl gotta do with your butt <laughs> somebody on twitter just brought something else up What's Talk that? to me. They posted a video of Charlamagne when he did the song Pink T. Woo. So, yeah, other details that have emerged um, coming out of the story, man, if you listen to uh, Avion's interview, he did come out and say that there, there was actually a condo owned by Kelvin that Charlamagne uh, lived there as well as Sharina. And, you know, Avion was there quite often, man. So, you know, it's a lot of ties, man. Like, it seems like Charlamagne has definitely been. Um, in these various circles, I mean, he hasn't really came out and addressed anything that Avion has stated because, you know, y'all, this story is not going anywhere. So at some point, he's going to have to make mention of it or he can just pretty much dodge it like, he's, you know, dodges other things and other allegations. Now, I do have a, another clip here, man, where he's actually talking about Kevin Hunter, man. He's talking about the things that's going to come out in the past, like guarantee he knows there's going to be other information leaked out. Honestly, y'all, I really feel like they had something going on. That's why I want to put this video together, man, to get y'all's input on this. Because I see a lot of y'all in my comment um, when I talked about the Avion story and Kelvin Hunter. Y'all all felt like Charlemagne had something going on. So I really want y'all to stir this up, man. Let me know if y'all feel like they actually, in fact, had a romantic relationship going on. Check out this clip right here. Have you seen things? I don't ever Kevin Hunter. He's a terrible human. She didn't being. ask you that. I said, I mean, I no, think, I there's think, sources I, close to her that are speaking out that have worked with her. You worked with her very closely. I think the Karma Cafe is open and you get served what you deserve. I see you, Kevin. I know what you did last summer, too. So if you reference, um, you know, Avion's interview, man, he's talking about, I know what you did last summer. Now, Avion came out, man. He said all of this stuff happened in 2018, the whole relationship with Kelvin Hunter and Avion Foster. It happened in uh, 2018. So it's definitely crazy stuff, man. I mean, oh my, man, this, this the whole story's got my head spinning, man. And you know, with all these allegations coming out about Charlemagne the God, now we have proof about Kevin Hunter, man. It may kind of makes one think like, okay, well maybe this is where all the smoke's coming from. It fully does feel like Charlemagne is actually going to great lengths, man, to kind of hide his identity. I mean, he's every interview he does, man, he always wants to mention, 
you know what I'm saying, like what he's not and this. And I think he's, I mean, he's trying to overcompensate. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think he has something going on, man. Even, you know, just his mannerism. And again, man, I'm not shading homosexuals, man. If that's what you want to do, hey, again, like I said in my last video, man, be who you are. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Ain't about that life. But, you know, I don't knock nobody. If that's your life, it is what it is. However, for somebody that goes through a great lean to kind of just, you know, let everybody know, you know what I'm saying, that they're not that. However, you know, you have major smoke with this one dude and the stories aren't lining up. And the same dude that you got smoke with, you know what I'm saying, he has a very bad situation going on with somebody they actually s slept together a few times i ain't gonna say uh, a relationship because you know it wasn't a relationship quote unquote allegedly it wasn't a relationship however they did have interactions several times and you actually lived in the same condo in the same location as this particular person that had all of this going on and you was even dealing with the same dude allegedly on a business tip so y'all y'all seen all the facts y'all seen all the information i would love for y'all opinion on this man let me know how y'all feel about this right here do y'all feel like dude is hiding anything do you feel like he's hiding anything or do you honestly feel like he's just keeping it 100 i would love to get y'all input on here man and definitely want y'all to share this video man even if you can't possibly think you, can, you know you have to go back through the video a few times that's cool you know what i'm saying send it to your family send it to your friends you know what i'm saying let them know like hey you know what i'm saying check out lionel b video man like you know look at these little parts right here what do y'all think about the situation you know give them a little backstory on it let them know and y'all holler at lionel b y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos share the videos man we need another 10,000 likes man y'all got me 10,000 likes on the last video i dropped man and i rock with y'all heavy and I'll peep y'all on the next one.